Good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos on Aircrete. A-I-R-C-R-E-T. There's another spelling of it with a K. A-I-R-K-R-E-T-E. -E. But, um, and that's kind of a different process, but it's kind of a patented name. Or, um, But anyway, uh, that is, I've talked about it before, what's called the Little Dragon. It has an AquaTech uh, 80 or 90 PSI pump in it for pumping fluids. Uh, it has a little regulator where you regulate the pressure up to about 90. And it has an on-off switch for the pump. And then the little blue thing there is what a friend of mine calls shark bites. And a shark bite is just a, you depress the blue thing and the tube comes out. Let's see if I can do it while I'm holding the phone. There you go. There's little teeth in there. And when you depress the blue thing, it pushes the teeth out. You slip your tube in, they click automatically. I'm going to push it back in. Holds pressure. Amazing invention. Okay, so I put the other end of the tube, I disconnected it out of the blue thing there, put it in there with a hose clamp on that, and it's got a Schrader valve for pumping it up. This is a water extinguisher, fire extinguisher. Big hole in there you can pour your soap and, and water into solution for foam. And then with the um, Brillo stainless steel, whatever, scrubby pad, this pipe is stuffed full of that. Okay. Um, 45 degree elbow on that end, a cap on this end with the uh, shark bite fitting in that. So you can use, there's pneumatic foam, and you can put a permanent clip on clamp Schrader valve connection to that to the air compressor and use the air compressor to propel both the fluid and the air. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I did a video before. What we're looking for is shaving cream foam consistency. Okay, so you got, you know, everybody knows what shaving foam looks like. What it is is very, very, very small bubbles. So what you're looking for is about one micron size, very small bubbles, okay? Now, I also said before about, you know, people think of fire brick, and even the people at a brick company in Springfield didn't know that there were two kinds of fire brick. So I'm going to take this over here. I'm testing my barrel. By the way, if you're going to put water in barrels, test them and see if the barrel will hold water. <laughs> I was filling one and it had a hole in it. So, watch. And I, I left that in a bucket of water and it floated for, I think it might, I don't think it would sink ever. Got about a quarter to about three eighths of an inch of above the surface. Now, that's a lot bigger item, but here's a piece of foam that oozed out of the wall. This is Aircrete. And it's, um, you know, it's light. You can make a boat out of it. So, I'm not sure it has any more float above water level, but it's about, you know, it's pretty good. Some grass and junk in there, but but it's very light. It, it feels a lot lighter than the uh, brick there. And the bubbles are a lot smaller, except where they joined some of them joined together, but you're looking at one micron size bubbles here on this brick. They're they're pretty visible. They're big. I think you can see that. It's not real sunny out, which is nice. My phone won't overheat. So anyway, that's wash my hand off there. Okay, so that's aircrete. You can make blocks out of it. You can make uh, all kinds of things, retainer wall blocks. You can make um, phony stone. There's a company out of Lithuania that sells about 15 different patterns of phony stone. You can do, uh, you know, make a, 
a wall and insulated at the same time if you make them out of aircrete. Retainer blocks for low, like I said, let's say here, instead of being an ugly block, you could use these. You can get a retainer block mold for um, concrete. You, know, you basically people use quickcrete to make their own retainer blocks, but if you made them out of um, aircrete, they'd be a lot lighter to handle. You know, two or three stacked high for a raised bed or a retainer wall around a, a fire pit. Um, you know, all kinds of things. So. I think that's about all I wanted to cover on that. Uh, once again, the uh, surfactant uh, slash foaming agent is um, seventh generation dish soap. And you can get that at Amazon. Target sells them. Um, just watch your kids in the bathrooms. Uh, and uh, that's a stable plant-based formula where the bubbles last a long time, they, they retain their integrity so that through the mixing process you can um, do, uh, you know, it, it retains the stability. And then I wanted to also point out that I've made a form here, a uh, wall, and that's going to be insulated. I, I left little uh, openings that won't drop in. I just, you know, presidential solution there um, so we can pour aircrete into that so this whole everything you see here up there I'm not gonna mess with that up there but you know we'll eventually have that foamed this whole thing up there probably up there and up there all the wood double wood here here where the uh, vents gonna go out for the rocket stove that's already full almost full it's down about three inches um, that's where it oozed out and <laughs> some of it went outside so okay that's it air crete foam crete look at it there are companies that are doing multiple billion dollars investment in this stuff uh, i mean huge plants to make wall forms bricks blocks interlocking blocks there's a company out of australia called light build look that up they have castellated interlocking blocks and making light stable foam blocks that you can pick up real easily. A kid can pick them up and you can build a wall out of them, dry stack them, and then you can spray them with a, a mortar mix, like with a plaster gun, a plaster sprayer. Mortarsprayer.com, uh, Tool, Toolcrete, yeah, Toolcrete, uh, quite a few. Benron, B-E-N-R-O-N, -E Benron, awesome company out of, out of uh, there in the United States. Um, a lot of good companies making mortar sprayers and while I'm at that, let me show you a plaster sprayer. And I got this at a Home Depot, Lowe's, I think. Yeah, Lowe's. Um, and this is just a run-of-the-mill texture sprayer. But it's cobalt. Good brand. Nice big hopper. Um, solid, except it sat in the sunlight. And it, you know, that's actually probably a defect. It shouldn't have done that. Well, it did it on a couple places, so... Uh, sun rot a little bit, it's been sitting around a lot, um, but they only have a single jet. You can get hoppers with two, three, four uh, nozzles, and what it does is it just blasts air from the back there through the solution, dropping down by gravity, and uh, blasting out the front. It's got a uh, nozzle there to hook up to the air hose, and this one matched ours. It's got an adjustment nozzle, adjustment uh, valve. And also that shutoff valve there, I could throttle the air back to the point where, and open this up, maximum flow on solution, minimum flow on that. And I was just spraying the window with our foam solution, and it, I got it to come out pretty thick. So I'm thinking we could put foam crete in that and get a pretty good, uh, pretty good cover without breaking up the bubbles. So there you go. Um, this is not... A good type mixer to use. You want one with a spiral thing. It's, I mean, if you're going to use a drill, and even with anything, that probably wouldn't be the great type to use. But um, with a drill, a uh, good heavy drill, half inch drill, and a spiral type of a mixer, you could do a good job. Uh, there's a one on eBay for 53 bucks and 10 cents. I got that coming, and that's going to be our preferred method especially since we can take this wand, they, they would call this a foam lance in the industry, 
that's our foam lance. Well, we can hook that up to an injection system and inject the foam right down at the level of the concrete at the bottom of the barrel so that the foam rises, the concrete sits, and it mixes them together. And with the spiral thing coming up, uh, it'll do a fabulous job of mixing up. So that's it on the uh, air crete foam concrete. It's called CLC, Cellular Lightweight Concrete. Um, that's the little dragon if you want to get one. They're about 479 bucks. Um, pretty simple device. Like I said, you could actually use air. I know there. I know that's possible. You can look up uh, auto detail car wash. Car wash companies. There's a car, car wash supply company, and for 420 bucks, you can get a nice stainless steel tank, heavy duty tank, um, a big heavy pump. It looks like it's a real heavy pump with a handle on it that sits on the ground. Um, you can get, and you hook that up to a compressor, fill it with your solution, and I'm not sure how it all works, but it's a you know for 400 bucks plus a little bit, you can get a really nice uh, stainless steel tank instead of a, as David Ray calls it, a, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, a, a $500 Frisbee, you know, that was the lid, didn't get a bucket. Um, they could do a little bit more with that, but I do give uh, Dome Gaia and uh, Kaiser Gibran all kinds of credit because this man has brainstormed, perfected these um, building systems over the years, over the decades. He is the one that perfected the uh, earth bag, what some people call super adobe. He perfected that system for uh, third world countries, war-torn countries, because the number one pr rule of alternative homes is look out the window, what do you see? Build with it. Well, looking out the window in a war-torn country, you have lots and lots of barbed wire and lots and lots of uh, sandbags. So he's like, the barbed wire is the mortar, the sandbags or rice bags are the uh, building material. You pack them. It's a free-formed rammed earth. Anytime you pack earth, it becomes like rock. There's rammed earth homes. Uh, earth bag is a uh, free-formed rammed earth where you can, you know, ring it around in any form you want. Compressed earth blocks is a machine rammed earth, CEB, compressed earth block. And then you have, of course, earth ship where you're packing dirt and tires, same thing. That's rammed earth. So ram the earth, pound it, pound it, pound it, and it compacts and becomes like concrete. A little, you know, clay, about 80% sand, 20% clay is your standard mix for any kind of building system. So look out of the window. If you see a bunch of pine trees, build a cabin. You know, if you see a bunch of, uh, or, or a cordwood house, um, you know, you can build a log cabin out of anything. Stack wall, they call it soldiering. A lot of different forms of alternative homes, but after 16 years for me and decades for Kajir Gibran, Aircrete is, and, and there's multi-billion dollar companies tooling up for this stuff, Aircrete is the building, the home building material of the future. All right, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. I'll do more on it later. Bye.